Unfortunately, most of this is a heap of dog shit. It's a bunch of muddy noise. I mean, don't take my word for it. You could reason these things out on your own. And if I don't spoon feed you the answers, I mean, a lot of people probably can't do it because they tell themselves that they can't do it and or they're not willing to put in the time to do it. <sighs> By this point in the video, you can see the timestamp down there. Uh, he's talking about that square on there and the triangle on there. And he's telling you that the square is 2D and the triangle is 3D. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to play the video. And just think about it. He's also going to misattribute things. He's going to mention planets yet again. Planets don't exist for the slow thinkers out there. They've always been wandering stars. It's a bigger deal than people realize, which is why idiots repeat planets. It's a fucking agenda. It's an old fucking agenda. It's no different from calling something organic or trans. It's a fucking agenda. People would figure these things out if they were using their brain, but people are fucking stupid, apparently. Um, he's going to misattribute the Order of the Wandering Stars, which, again, is a really big fucking deal if you're trying to figure out how reality works. It's a problem, is what I'm saying. May 4th, part two. All right, let's finish this one out. Let's go like this. The fourth, the fifth, the minor falls, the major lifts. What does this mean? Let's look at it as the harmonic spheres. As we fall from grace, we fall through these harmonic spheres that we call planets. We call luminaries. We call frequencies, right? Well, in the planetary spheres from Earth up, the fourth one is the sun. The fifth one is Mars. Well, Mars is very important because it rules Aries, Scorpio, physical creation, the mark of man, the head, genitals. It is the genitals, the genesis, the genesis of Isis, all the way to the head, the brain, the bra, ra, rain, that's Ra's revelation. It's the mark of man, makeup of man. But now as we fall to grace down, we go the other way, right? We have to go through the fourth, the sun, and then that fifth would be Venus when you look at it the other way. So the chakras are the fourth, it's the heart, the fifth is the throat. Well, the throat, that's Taurus. Who rules Taurus? That's right, it's Venus. This is your soul, your body, your mind. Alchemy, it is sulfur, salt, mercury. You ever heard of that before? This is where it comes from. So Venus makes a five-pointed star over Earth in eight years. This would be five. Now he's going to tell you in Venetian years, you know, on Venus when fucking fuck all. <laughs> If you're using your brain, there's no reason for you to complicate things. You and I are part of the same system as Venus. So there's no reason to use some bullshit outline our masters spoon-fed people. Yes, there is a distance between where you and I are and where Venus is, respectively. Same system of time. Use your brain. Because this guy isn't and or he's misleading people for whatever reason. Usually, I mean, uh, how should I put it? Every now and then, he'll hit something that's, it's okay. Most of it's superficial shit. And he does shop around just absolute garbage. I don't think he's trying to mislead people. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Earth years, eight Venus years. But makes a five-point star over Earth. This is sulfur, salt, mercury. You ever heard of that before? This is where it comes from. So Venus makes a five-pointed star over Earth in eight years. This would be five Earth years, eight Venus years, but makes a five-pointed star over Earth. This is showing you mark of creation. This is showing you that she is that physical essence that is the Isis the mother, right? I-S-I-S, -I -S, it's the two arms wrapping around, manifesting physical creation. 
all of the nine numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you add them up, they equal 45. So we got the sun and the moon. We have, that is Cancer and Leo. We have the sun and Venus looking at them as the order of the harmonic spheres. But then if we look at the major and the minor. I want you to think about those harmonic spheres or the harmonic series to be more more uh, precise. I'm trying to say specific as well. Um, I've left something online a handful of times. It's related to what I'm complaining about. And if you took notes, if you connect those two dots, I'm telling you something. Yes, this is how I work these days, especially these days. Because I'm looking for people who can, you know, uh, think for themselves and they're willing to put in the time, which means they're invested, which means they're involved. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a handful of people following some of my accounts. You guys should talk amongst yourselves and see if you can compare notes. Since I've had people tell me, it's really hard to find your, your content, since they're using our master's jargon. If you guys truly want answers, you would do what I just suggested. If you guys can prove to me that you can think for yourself, I will teach you things you are not supposed to know. Unlike accounts like this, and most of the superficial slop you're going to find online in your feed. Well, what is the minor backwards? It's Roman, as in numerals. This perfectly finishes out my story here, because the four is the square. It's the 2D. It's four 90 degree angles, which makes the, the square. But when you go to the five, why is the five a V? There's not five lines. There's not five segments to match the geometry. It's because it's supposed to show you it's just like the compass. It's, to, it's the rise. It's the makeup. It's that triangle. It's the flame. It's phi. It's Stan Tenen's spiral of creation, right? You can see this perfectly here. When you label out the four of the square, you can see the fifth is in the middle. It's the rise. It's the pyramid without the cap on top. This is just another representation. Four fingers, one thumb. Four limbs, two arms, two legs. One head. Four valves. One blood. Four parts to your DNA. One segment. You see how all these numbers, they go together perfectly flawlessly why do you think i call it sacred geometry because man didn't because people were spoon fed that fucking jargon and they repeat it just like saying cymatics same reason people uh, talk about geomancy because they were never spoon fed the true version that's the corrupted version mind you geomancy and it's really fucking hard to find uh the flip side of that jazz it's mostly been erased from history, for the most part. I've never met anybody who knows what I'm getting at. It's because people like this echo our master's bullshit, our master's narratives, the official narrative of adult fairy tales and nonsense. Discover these numbers. <clears throat> Man didn't discover these patterns. These patterns are God-made. This is God-made, the word made flesh, these are the physical representations made into numerical values, all representate, all representing the same exact thing. It's the spiritual world meeting the physical world. When these two circles overlap, they create that Vesca Pisces. And within that is literally all of the makeup of spirit, science, sacred geometry, sacred proportions, golden mathematics. It is the mark of creation. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I've heard this guy talking about the Vesca Pisces numerous times, or Vesica Pisces, kind of like archetypal, um, numerous times. But I don't think I've ever heard him parallel its counterpart. I don't think I've heard him bring that up. And if you appreciate what I'm driving at, it's on par with somebody only talking about darkness. Not appreciating the light. Or the interplay between the two. Which should beg some questions. Is the person trying to mislead you? Do they know what they're talking about? Are they purposely holding on to something because you and I are surrounded by idiots? It could be that too. 
but it might just be they're knocking out superficial research and shitting out videos left and right, and they don't know what they are fucking talking about, because they don't understand what does and does not reflect reality. It's a problem. It, it should fucking come up. People should be challenging themselves and challenging others, but it is not, that's not how things work. Unfortunately, because people have been trained to do otherwise. I want you to think about this slop that I just left on here, that he left on here. You can reason things out. I I don't know. I mean, I could pull out the chalkboard and I could show you some stuff. But for the most part, most people don't see these videos. Most people don't give a flying fuck. You have an endless pile of superficial shit to choose from. So most people aren't going to put in the time and give a flying fuck about what I'm alluding to. Most people are just going to say, well, I got this and it's sensational. I'm going to repeat it. And recirculate the slush pile of bullshit. Most people don't take an issue with calling things planets. Or, I can't remember what the other example was in here that he was rattling off. Um, most people don't have a problem with that shit. Which means they are the fucking problem. That should stand to reason, but most people lack critical thinking skills. They lack abstract thought. The ability to think abstractly and reason things out on their own. And that's fucking you and I up. Through and through. It's by design. It's what our masters are getting at these days. It's what the entire quote-unquote system is geared towards. And when you think about the system, how often do you relate that to the internet and all the shit that you and I are inundated with? Inundated, I didn't say it well, but we're indoctrinated. We're, we're, uh, we're experiencing the, the many-fold uh, bullshit tools of the internet these days. And they're all in place to manipulate us. Not towards a harmonious system, but a disharmonious system where people repeat absolute nonsense and assume that it reflects reality because they're not going to take the time to try to figure any of it out. Because if they did, shit like this wouldn't be online. You'd see numerous people in here calling bullshit, but instead you got people leaving social engineering stickers because they are in place to do away with abstract thought, which is why this little bullshit bar down here is in most social engineering platforms. I complain about it often because it's rewiring how people's brains used to work or by all rights should work. All you're going to see in here is a bunch of people positive vibes only praising this shit. Because they don't know what they are fucking talking about. They're just jerking each other off. It's a feedback loop of fucking superficial noise. That's all this is. It's garbage. And you would know this if you were thinking for yourself. If you truly took the time, instead of getting your panties in a ruffle, which most people do, because I didn't think for you and spell it out. 